Hi everybody. Welcome to Upside Course Training. Um, I've got Bell in here today. Uh, Ron and Bunny Nichols Horse are soon to go to Jackie Duke out in Oklahoma. This is for you, Jackie. Bell, she pulled horse that they had gotten on an auction. She was starved and had a baby on her side. They got paid 100 bucks for both and both horses. They set them up and took good care of them and now they're beautiful animals. Um, our guess is that, or my guess is that, Belle had a little work a long time ago. Probably not much. Since she's been here the past couple of weeks, me and Belle have been working. I've taken her into town twice. She has a real big motor. She's not afraid of anything. Um, but she is afraid of people on the ground and things in your hand. But when I'm on her back, she did really quite well with the cars and going under the bridge. I was really impressed. So what we want to do now is kind of drop back a few steps. Now that we know what she can do, we want to start building her confidence in people and the things that are in her hand because she possibly was neglected and or abused. So we're going to start by doing this around her and see if she how much how scared she is. Then I'm going to ride her and start getting her used to it, and I'm going to pop it. Okay, but we'll start out right now, just kind of helping her, and we'll hold it. And you'll see her head just for me doing that. See that? She's a little scared, so I'm just going to help her. I'm not holding her tight. I want her to learn to stand under pressure. Now she gets real excited. She's getting more excited. She's not sure. She thinks, what the heck? This is something that somebody done to me at one time that meant run around and around them. So many people bring their horses in and just start running them. I know the old saying from some clinicians or get their feet moving. For me, I want to bring them in and teach them that standing is the first thing we want to learn. Stand under pressure. And then, of course, we do both sides. So she's already settling down. We've had a couple of weeks of work, but she trusts me a lot more. She's still a little concerned. You can see it in her eyes. Sometimes I try not to look at them or at the object I'm spinning. Sometimes if I look at the ground, they go, well, you're not concerned with it either. That was pretty good. Now, she had not been warmed up. We sat her, brought her in, and pulled this camera out. And we're going ahead and showing you something new that we don't know how she'll react to. Slow it down. When you're desensitizing your horse, make sure that you utilize pressures that you can control. Tying a bag to them or a tarp to them and letting them run around is not a good idea, in my opinion. I want to control it and frame it. Her eyes are pretty white. She's concerned, but she's controlling herself. Yeah. Probably seen some abuse in her day. Now we'll go ahead and start the little box. Big girl. three or four times and praise them. Let them know that all you want them to do is stand still. That's why I use my verbal cues for walk, trot, and lope. That way they know exactly what I'm doing in my body language. So as if I go, she knows that that means step off. Um, any other motions or things that I have in my hand, I don't want her to confuse with the fact that that's what she's supposed to, that she's supposed to run away and move. One of the reasons 
reason I send them out right now is to help them relax a little bit. He's a little wound up. And the concern is, well, instead of using the outside of the round pen as punishment, I use it as a place to relax, let them move their feet. In this specific case, Sometimes I make them work pretty hard on the outside. Oh. I'll put a little more body on it. So I want to be right up here. Maybe strengthen my body language a little bit more. She's not really ready for, for me to be riding her with the whip, but I'm going to show you how it works anyway. Yeah, like move your feet a little bit more. That's not good. And she pretty much is telling us that that's how she's going to act because she's nervous in here, right? And there she goes. She's going to try and get out of the trouble a little bit by moving. She gets up to the top. teacher to wall and we're going to have to start making them work and shut her down.
Thanks. 